What do we got here? Oh my What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Relentless Sportsman channel. I'm out here on the river today, my favorite way to fish, and I'm going for smallmouth bass using the skirted jig, my favorite bait on rivers. Stay tuned, see what happens. Got something nice here. A little smally it looks like. Waves, these waves from big boats coming at me. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Very cool. See you later. Okay, everybody. So, what I'm using right now is a whoops. <laughs> there we go. It's a quarter ounce Bitsy Bug Jig by Strike King. It's black. I tend to go with darker colors for this jig and I'm using half of a craw soft plastic. And it's just some random one I found at the store with little flippy flappy things. And this is how I use skirted jigs. So what I'm doing is I'm pitching towards shore right now in isolated rocks where I can see them and hoping for a strike. And I've got that rigged up with 10 pound braid and a medium action spinning rod with a Daiwa spinning reel. Skirted jigs on the rivers are very, very effective. Even more so in my opinion than lakes because they mimic crayfish, the main forage for smallmouth on rivers, at least where I'm from. Got one. This is a good fish. Yep. Real good small, you guys. Oh, yes. Real good one. Chaos in the boat. What an absolute pig. You see that, guys? Had him hooked right in the top of the mouth. Just pitching shorelines. This thing is a tank. Good four pounder. 19 inches. That's a nice one there. Beautiful. All right, everybody, so I ended up switching to a little bit of a tube jig here instead of that crawfish imitation. I like craws better. Personally, I've had better success with that, but it kept slipping off the one I had. It wasn't staying on, and it was just getting real annoying. Every three casts, it slipped off or slipped down, so I switched this up to a little tube jig made by Z-Man with a really nice elastic material, and this will stay on more than likely, so we'll see if this works. I try to have a different trailer than the jig. So if the jig is blue, I go with green. If the jig is green, I go with blue, black, or whatever. Any kind of dark blue, green, or black. Those are my favorite colors for the river, especially when you're casting towards shore like this. Oh, here's another rock. Nice one. There we go. That's what we came here for. This thing is good, good, good. It's right underneath that tree up there. I'm guessing 17, 18. But man, it's a river fish, so you get them that big. They're powerful, powerful creatures. He doesn't like me. Okay. Right on the top of the lip, on the upper lip there. There's that tree back there. Yeah, it's a good 17, 18. Beautiful fish, really nice. Now, as you can probably tell, all of these fish on this river are dark brown because of the tannin in the water. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> there's a tree right there. That's why the fish are so dark. You know, not like those clear water rivers or clear water lakes where they've got real nice stripes and everything on them. Sometimes these do, but that's just what they look like here in this body of water. But let me tell you, this body of water, this river that I'm fishing in in particular, I've never seen bass that fight harder than on this river. And you know, I gotta say, I was a little concerned not using that cray trailer, a crawfish trailer on the back when I switched to this tube, but it seems to still be working. Another thing I do as I cast, or after I cast, I guess you could say, so once the bait hits the water, like that, I flip my bait open. I actually lift my rod up to allow more line to come off the spool to give it even more slack. That gives the bait more time to fall naturally. And since a lot of times I hit it on the fall or right when it falls, that gives them even more slack than they would otherwise. And when a bait falls straight down instead of at an angle back toward the boat, it falls more naturally. Yeah, also when it's early summer and you're fishing skirted jigs on the river, just like I'm explaining right to shore, most of the time, like basically always, if they don't bite within five feet of your bait hitting the you know, the water or the bottom of the, the river or whatever, they're not going to. They're gonna bite right away, almost instantly, within about two seconds. If they don't, rip it back and make another cast somewhere else. Got him. That was a soft bite if I ever did feel one. I wasn't even sure what happened. I was like, what's going on here? That was weird. Am I imagining things? And I think it I think it took the line actually went toward the boat, so then I didn't feel anything at all. I was like, ah, oh, just reel in, and all of a sudden that head shake was there. And the next thing you know, here we are. This is just a little guy here. Yeah. Yeah. All they have to be small to become big, I suppose. In about 10 years, this will be a really nice fish. See you later. It's almost like it had the bait, didn't move, and was like coming toward the boat at the same speed I was reeling, which probably isn't what actually happened, but it was so strange. Because I felt like this tension for quite a while. I was like, ah, I don't want to set the hook. I don't think it's a fish. I didn't feel the head shake. Like as if it was just coming toward the boat like this as I was reeling. So bizarre. Oh, I just had a nice hit there. Got him. That's what I thought. I came here specifically for those weeds to get a nice little pike and I think that's what I got here. Yep. Oh, he's not too happy. On my medium action rod, bait casting reel. <laughs> Don't usually use this for this, but that's okay. Oh, he's not too happy with me. Oh, got off. Good release there. Hope you all saw that. Just a nice little pike using a willow leaf and Colorado blade, or willow blade and Colorado blade. Bright green, three sound spinner. I purposely came up this way for pike in these areas. This is a great pike territory on the river here. On a river, whenever you have weeds like that, there's northern around. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you learned something new. I'm back on the river finally. First time 2021 smallmouth fishing on the river. It's a big deal because it's my favorite way to fish. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something new. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for spending this time with me. Stay tuned for another video coming up soon. Bye-bye.